From the music to the delicious foods to the long-standing traditions and family heritage, or lineage rather, the month of September is set aside to observe and celebrate Hispanic heritage. To uncover her family tree, a Central Texas woman discovered her family is actually part of Hayes County's history. Tahara Rahman reports how the discovery led her to preserve other untold stories. This is all part of Gina Rogers' family history. This is one of his sons, Felipe. That she didn't know about until a few years ago. And when my dad passed away, I asked the question, where was daddy born? One question that would guide her next five years. It was not much long after that that tons of documents and records surfaced. This is the first deed in her the Her great-great-grandfather, Victoriano Alba, bought 160 acres in Dripping Springs in 1903, becoming one of the first Hispanic families in the area. They were some of the first persons who helped to create the St. Martin's de Porres Catholic Church in Dripping Springs. They had donated land for a school. John McKiernan Gonzalez has been studying Southwest history for 25 years. He says more interesting than the Alba family's early roots is their persistence. It's a really interesting interplay between a family story and a place story. Gonzalez says some Texas towns didn't want black or Hispanic families as neighbors. Many of them were driven out by increasing property taxes. Sometimes, he says, these families of color were even driven out by terror. Records that say that sort of like sheriff offices and real estate investors said it's cheaper to buy from the widow than from the man. So the connection between terror and land dispossession. Still, the Alba Ranch remained in the family for more than a century. At one point, the Albas owned about 1,000 acres. It's all become more than family history. In January, the Texas Historical Commission approved the Alba Ranch as an undertold story. That means it fills a gap in state history. A lot of Tejano families are tired of not seeing themselves in the story of Texas. It's about time to sort of like get the kind of public memory and public recognition that the work the families put into being in Hayes County. They were not even a footnote in history. That's really the reality of it. Now on the Hayes County Historical Commission herself, Rogers is working on more marker applications to make sure other Hispanic people, families and places don't vanish once they're gone. Rediscovered him and he won't be lost again. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News.